You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and guess what? I've got your bold and the beautiful episode spoilers for Friday, September 8th. And also, guess what? Bill Spencer is back, baby. I am so excited to see Dollar Bill on the scene, and I hope it's not a one and done. I hope we actually are going to get us some good old Bill Spencer action. So on Thursday the 7th, we got a sad, but to me unsatisfying goodbye that left one man heartbroken and another hopeful for his future. We are going to dig into everything and deliver to you all the sizzling spoilers for Friday's cliffhanger episode. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe. That really helps the channel. If you hit notifications, it will pop up and tell you when there's a new video. I've noticed that there's a couple of channels that are trying to look like us. They are doing their thumbnails like us. They are definitely trying to trick people so if you subscribe to our channel you won't miss any updates and you'll get the real deal you get me belinda right here at soap dirt instead of imitations robots monotone droners all kinds of stuff all right let's dig in as always we're going to take a quick look at the episode we just saw that was thursday and we're going to go from least to most interesting as always So as strange as it may sound, the least interesting thing to me on Thursday was Steffi and Finn's conversation. And here's why. We already knew that Jackie Wood was going out on maternity leave and we knew Steffi was taking the kids to Europe and we knew Finn would be really sad and Sheila would be the reason for Steffi leaving. So there was nothing surprising to me there. And it didn't move me to tears because I was surprised by nothing. I felt really, really bad for Finn. And I felt like he was in an absolute no-win situation. But at the same time, you understand Steffi's rationale. I feel bad for Finn. I feel bad for Steffi. And I feel very worried about what Liam's going to do next. So the next most interesting thing to me was the Deacon and Sheila convo. Somehow, Sheila and her nine toes sniffed out that Liam is sniffing around Steffi, and Sheila seems totally on board with a steam reunion, even if it leaves Finn heartbroken. I would even go so far to say as she especially wants Finn heartbroken because I think Sheila pictures herself as the good mom comforting her darling boy while he cries it all out. And then Sheila will somehow be the only woman in his life because she is bat crap crazy that way. So what was definitely the most interesting thing on Thursday to me was Liam's extremely cooperative and concerned response to Steffi leaving the country. To me, he almost seemed giddy and excited. He didn't argue for one moment about Steffi leaving the U.S. with his daughter, even when she said she hadn't even decided where she was going. And you know why? Because all Liam cares about is that she's leaving Finn behind. Already, we heard Liam making plans to go visit Steffi under the guise of visiting his daughter, Kelly, and that's something Finn can't do, because if Finn follows Steffi, then Sheila could too. So Liam is already figuring out how he can use this advantage to steal Steffi for himself. I felt like I could see the gears and the wheels turning in Liam's head on Thursday. All right, now let's talk about Friday. For me, it seems that Steffi's exit should have been a cliffhanger Friday episode. Maybe it got off track because of just preemptions a while back. I don't even know, but it didn't go that way. Mm. All right, so we're going to take the Friday spoilers from least to most interesting, as we usually do. So as usual lately, that means we're starting with RJ Forrester first. He is over at Forrester Creations and chatting about Eric Forrester's proposal for this legacy line. And RJ's talking to Ridge Sr. and his mom, Brooke. 
and it's not going well. RJ thinks it's this great idea, and he tries to convince his father to be supportive of Eric. But Ridge keeps saying Eric should just relax and enjoy his golden years, play pickleball, yada yada. RJ and Eric are not going to agree on this subject at all. And then RJ also talks to his sister, Hope, and she, frankly, isn't really sure that the timing is right for this line of Eric's either because of just a bunch of stuff going on at the company. So RJ winds up feeling like he's the only one there for Eric, and he fully commits to helping his granddad do this line. RJ also has a little bit of blah, blah, chiming in about Steffi leaving with the kids. Who cares? All right. Now to a much more interesting spoiler for Friday. We have Dollar Bill Spencer scenes at last. We have not seen Bill since July 24th, and that was for a single episode after a month-long dry spell. And then I think he was around for one or two before that, and then it was another month-long spell. He has not hardly been around lately, but Bill is back, baby. So he's got lots to say about Steffi, Sheila, and Finn, and it seems Bill and Wyatt are trying to get Liam to see reason. So Bill starts out kind of grilling Liam about why can't he forgive Hope and why it's like, oh, Hope kissed Thomas, you know, why it's like chiming in on all this. I am so enjoying Wyatt lately. And when Liam says, you know, he just can't forgive Hope, then Wyatt throws Liam under the bus again and says, yeah, that's because Steffi and her husband broke up and Liam is all hot for Steffi. And then Liam says he will do anything to have her back. And it's not going to matter what Bill or Wyatt say. So this is very interesting to me. I would like Bill to give Liam a bunch of work to keep him busy and then Bill to fly after Steffi and claim her for himself. I just don't want her with Liam. I don't. So that's just me. But the, the big spoiler is that Bill and Wyatt try to like talk Liam down. And Liam's like, no, Steffi, Steffi, Steffi. Hope who? <laughs> so now we've got one last really big spoiler for a huge scene coming on Friday. It's about Fen and his mom. We're going to dig into that in one second. If you haven't already, please reach down, click like. We love getting those thumbs up. Please subscribe. It helps our channel and it helps make sure that you know that you're watching the right channel, the channel that you can trust to give you accurate spoilers and not make up stuff and tell you that fan fiction is spoilers. All right, please drop your comments on what you're excited to see happen on Friday. Now, it is not Finn and his awful biological mother having this scene. It is Finn and his adorable adoptive mother, Dr. Lee Finnegan, that are having this scene. She comes to see Finn. He, of course, is distraught. He's heartbroken, and he tells his mom, Steffi left, took the kids, went off to Europe somewhere. He doesn't know where because of this ongoing Sheila threat and drama. So Lee Finnegan, as always, she's like gone full tiger mom on him. She's like not that, she's sympathetic to his upset, but she is very adamant that part of the problem is Finn not drawing that line in the sand with Sheila and actually letting her hug him and opening his heart even a little because Sheila is awful. Lee grills her son. She's like, Finn, do you want Steffi back? He does. But he also tells her he's very worried because Liam is being very clear about the fact that he is going to try to win Steffi back, that this could be his chance to be with the love of his life. Again, Lee is not having that. She is not going to have her son lose to Liam Spencer. She tells him, plain, you fight. You fight, fight, fight. You do not let Liam take your wife. You do not let Sheila Carter ruin your life. That's it. That's everything that we have for Friday. Thanks to our international listeners. It's shout out time. Australia, New Zealand, Italy, France, South Africa, Norway, Netherlands, US and Canada. And let me know if I missed anybody. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm excited about tomorrow's episode. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 